In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to insert a text entry box into a Captivate project. A text entry box is an interactive element that allows the user to type text on the screen. For example, you might use a text entry box in a software simulation to have the user practice entering data into an application screen. You can also add text entry boxes to create simple quiz questions. To add a text entry box, open an Adobe Captivate project and select the slide to which you want to add the box. To add a text entry box, click the Insert menu and then select Text Entry Box. The new Text Entry Box dialog box appears. Use the tabs within the dialog box to edit the properties for the box. On the Text Entry Box tab, enter the basic settings for the box. In the Settings area, you can enter default text, which is the text that the user sees when the slide is displayed. You can also select Retain Text, which allows users to see their previously entered answer if they return to this slide using the Back button. The next section contains settings that control what happens if the user enters the text correctly. In the Correct Entries field, type all answers that are considered correct. You can enter multiple correct answers. The Font button opens the Font dialog box, which lets you set font, font styles, font size, and font effects for the text. The Add button opens a new box in which you can enter another correct entry. The Delete button removes a selected entry from the list of correct answers. The On Success field specifies what should happen after a user enters the correct text in the text entry box. You can select Continue, go to Previous Slide, go to Next Slide, Jump to Slide, Open URL or File, Open Other Project, send email to, execute JavaScript, or no action. The next section contains settings that control what happens if the user enters the text incorrectly. The first field in this section indicates how many attempts the user is allowed when answering the question. The infinite attempts option is selected by default. To enter a specific number of attempts, clear the infinite attempts option and then enter a number. The After Last Attempt option specifies what should happen after the last attempt. This list contains the same options as the On Success field. The Set Shortcut Key section allows you to select a key combination for users to press when submitting responses. The current shortcut is displayed to the left of the button. If your Adobe Captivate project will be displayed in a browser, be sure to set shortcut keys that won't conflict with common browser shortcuts. For example, F1, which is frequently used as a keyboard shortcut to display help. The Options tab contains timing and transition settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. The Appearance section allows you to enter transparency and select a background color for the text entry box. The Options section contains a series of checkboxes with various settings for the text entry box. Please note that this includes Success, Failure, and Hint Captions. The Audio tab contains settings that allow you to record or import audio clips. These settings are the same as those found in the Text Captions dialog box. To keep score for the text entry box or coordinate the score with a learning management system, use the settings in the reporting tab. The include in quiz option includes the text entry interaction as a question in the current quiz. The points assigned to this text entry box are added to the score results of the current quiz. The report answer setting reports the user's results on the quiz. Enter an objective ID if the text entry question is related to an objective set in your learning management system. Enter an Interaction ID if you want the Adobe Captivate project to send tracking information to your learning management system. In the Points field, enter a number or use the arrows to give the question a point value. The maximum point value is 100 points and the minimum is zero. If you select the Add to Total option, the points of the text entry interaction are added to the quiz total. The Size and Position tab contains settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. Once you have entered all the settings for your text entry box, click the OK button. 
the text entry box is added to the slide. If needed, you can adjust the size and location of the text entry. Let's preview the slide to see how the text entry box works. The user can type the text entry into the screen of the Captivate movie. For more information on working with text entry boxes, consult the Captivate Help System. This concludes the demonstration on inserting a text entry box into a Captivate project.